Hello, welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian, and every other day we bring to you the key news stories and data points that move container markets and hence your business. Today is Monday, so we have Macro Monday at Container Exchange, where we typically uh, do an outlook on the week ahead and the macroeconomic indicators that we expect to move markets and yeah, specifically uh, container markets and shipping markets. In particular, uh, let me quickly share my screen to give you a little bit more guidance on what I'm talking about. Um, we have uh, yeah, a lot of inflation rate data coming in uh, this week. Uh, it starts off tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, with Japan inflation rate um, uh, coming in, uh, expected to, uh, as a 2.1% versus a 2.6% previously. These are annual rates, of course. Um, and this uh, yeah, casts a little bit doubt into, uh, onto, onto the question of whether the uh, Japanese uh, or the Bank of Japan will uh, sort of loosen monetary policy in the near future. Um, this has been uh, an ongoing debate over the past uh, couple of weeks and months already. And uh, yeah, further cooling of uh, inflation, um, uh, of course, uh, fuels, fuels that this debate. And then tomorrow, uh, also, we have uh, the only non-inflation rate uh, uh, data point here on this slide. Uh, US durable goods orders expected to drop uh, by 4.8% in January versus 0% uh, sort of, uh, trend in December. And this is very, very volatile. So a uh, couple of percentage point swings month on month is nothing out of the unusual. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, this is an indicator to watch uh, in terms of uh, demand for specifically trans-Pacific trans and uh, transatlantic uh, shipping demand. And then Thursday, a lot of inflation data coming in um, from various EU countries, um, all of them showing or expected to show, the data's not there, but uh, this is uh, sort of expected, um, show further slowdown um, in inflation um, around about two to three percentage points each. And that will likely be confirmed by your area uh, inflation rate data on Friday. So also here, uh, a little bit of a, a question mark uh, what this means for loosening monetary policy uh, in uh, Europe, um, which of course has been a discussion point uh, lately as well. Uh, and then on Thursday, very interesting and very important indicator um, that is closely being watched by the Fed, uh, the core PCE price index, so a personal consumer expenditure index, I believe, um, increases to 0.4% uh, versus 0.2% previously. Um, here, um, it's a little bit of a different story here. Uh, the, uh, the Fed um, has previously uh, sort of noted that um, they believe that the uh, end of the fight against inflation is not there yet. They want to be cautious. They want to, you know, um, don't, don't loosen monetary policy uh, too quickly. And this indicator sort of proves a little bit that they might be right. Um, it's better to be cautious than to be caught off guard and having to um, raise interest rates again uh, later on. Aside from that, um, Trans-Pacific uh, contracting season kicking off. Uh, we have the TPM uh, Long Beach next week. Uh, initial signs actually showing a weakness in carrier negotiation position. So um, there's rumors that uh, you know the carriers want to uh, push through uh, quite strong rates on the back of the increased uh, rate levels uh, that we've seen on the, in the lead up to Chinese New Year. Uh, but of course, uh, shippers, uh, BCOs, and the OCCs uh, are wary of this and say, look, uh, we believe uh, with the increase in capacity this year, um, relatively uh, slow uh, demand increase uh, comparatively to that, uh, we believe rates need to come down. And so um, they don't want to lock in any high uh, long-term rates as of yet. So that uh, remains to be watched. Um, very interesting discussions there. Um, and that's it from us from today. Thanks all for tuning in. Have a fantastic start into the weekend. Uh, yeah, talk to you all on Wednesday. See ya.